Hello! Yay, it worked. Yay, it's here and I forgot to turn Keisha's cam back on. No. Oops. Oh, guess I'm not here. That's fine. I'll just... <laughs> Off you're on. here. <laughs> ah. Can't remember which one you are. Ah, no. I'm so elusive. Ooh. There you are. <laughs> Am I helping? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay, we're good. Everybody's here now. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Uh, welcome back to the Fixies Five. We are short a Maddie and a Maggie tonight. The M and M's are yeah. not here. Yeah. yeah. Makes me sad. But we've got a Sam, so there's that. Yeah, Sam. Yay! <laughs> um, when we last left off, you guys had completed the hunt. You turned in your contracts. Everybody got paid. Um, you were given some sort of identification that you now belong to the Hunter's Guild. Um, and uh, you decided to go shopping. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Obviously. And then everybody had a couple of existential crises because I can't not go an episode <clears throat> without them. So. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> uh, you learned some new information regarding Ram's history. Um, Elise made a friend, a special friend. Um, Soup friend. And showed her yep, boobs. Yep, soup friends. Yes. Yeah, and then showed showed their boobs to everybody. Um, you learned that you are all bound, better or worse, now by some sort of either fate or destiny or none of the above. And you have to sort of figure out now where you're going to go from here. You have a couple of options that you can follow. Um, if I remember correctly, you guys were at the Briar's Heart yeah. when we left off. We or were just gonna leaving go it. Yeah, we were going to go to... Barry's Bounty, right? Barry's Bounty, yep. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, as you guys are kind of coming out, um, Robin, you meet kind of, you're able to sort of meet back up with the group after having done your, your reconnaissance. And you guys, you're, you're able to find them sort of outside the shop, and they, uh, one of them gives you your portion of the, the gold. So you have one, was it 179 mm -hmm. uh, worth of gold now? Okay. Here you go, you Sam. Hear. I kept it safe for you, Robin, rather, so. not Sam. I don't have any money for you, Sam. I'm sorry. I'm poor. Who's Sam? <laughs> Random NPC in the background. <gasps> they noticed me. <laughs> Oh, no money for Sam. <laughs> Here you go, Robin. I kept it safe for you in my chest. To my uh, current wallet. Yep. Um. So yeah, you are able to make your way over to Barry's Bounty. Again, um, same sort of situation as before. 
Uh, it's just stuffed with junk and not junk, and you gotta kind of dig through it to see. Um, but the same half work with the bright pink robes is there. Yeah. Smiling as always. Arcane awareness. Okay. And what's the range on that? Like, how far? Uh, that, uh, 60 feet. Okay. So as you're sort of like, you walk in the door and you... Uh, is it like a switch that you flip? How do you do that? Uh, <laughs> I just kind of like press one of the bolts near my eyes and it goes on. Okay. One of the wires that Reggie can't mess with. <laughs> it's, you see, it's here and it's like kind of loose, but when I press it, it connects like a thing. Oh, okay. Like a short sort of. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't stay because that would be cheating. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, you know, sometimes when screws are like loose and they've got loose threads and stuff. It's like yeah, that. exactly. You know? So yeah, you're able to cast that and the first thing that you sort of come upon is as you're making your way towards like the back of the, the shop, there is a small... Uh, looks to be like a small washed leather pouch that's sort of sitting on a shelf like almost face height with you that when you grab it it gives you enchantment enchantment like, yes it sort of like pings as enchantment enchantment mm. all right and... i'm okay really <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Are you? Look, I Are love Dragon Age. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't know, you don't know. Enchantment. 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 Oh. <laughs> he's such a precious bean. Oh but he's gosh. like, I don't know. I don't know. There were there were unanswered questions there. <laughs> nah. That doesn't happen in games. What are you talking about? Oh, um, enchantment. There is. Let me see. Sandal. Is that his name? Here. I think so. Oh, it's Sandal. Um, as you kind of go around the corner and like go down another aisle, it's sort of like waist height for you. There is another small sort of pouch thing that gives you. I'm gonna say conjuration on this one because it doesn't specify. But I would I would assume that's like the closest. Yeah. Everything else in here is pretty pretty mundane junk. Hmm. You sort of make your way around and I mean if Are you're there... looking for some tchotchkes, you could probably find them here, but other than Oops. that, not a lot going on. All right. Well, I'll take those two things and just kind of keep wandering around, seeing if there's anything interesting. Like, oh, I don't know, a key of some sort that's crescent shaped with three prongs. There's not anything like that here. So specific. <laughs> However, <clears throat> you do sort of for the first time notice, like just with everything that's been going on and lately with the hunt and everything, you do notice that the, something that Robin is carrying actually is giving you, um, it doesn't necessarily come up as a school of magic, but it does give you arcane something on a level that's very familiar in a like cousin sort of way. <laughs> Is she carrying around a warforged head or something? Oh, God. No, but you do seem to recall a puzzle box. A what, sorry? A puzzle box. Hmm. It's very faint, but it's there.
But that's that's kind of it. You have a feeling that this place is very like hit or miss. Yeah, I, that's why I threw on the arcane awareness, so I yeah. didn't waste my time. You were in with... the capital. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're in the capital, it might make a difference, but... Yeah. Okay, well, I will take these up to uh, Kroz. Mm-hmm. I would like and these, he's, please. He's, he's up at the counter, and, like, he's reading a, a book, and he's got, like, a pair of, like, half-moon bifocals on, you know, and just looks very fancy very fantastic as he's in his bright pink robes and he's reading fabulous and... yep he just needs he's like fabulous. a big ostrich feather fan or something uh, <laughs> just not the vapors yeah. yeah he he kind of sets uh sets his book down and takes his glasses off and he's like ah welcome back welcome back what did you find today i like these bags they're pretty so he picks one up that looks like um, it's probably about the size of like your face and it has a, a single buckle on the front and it looks like it could be worn around your hip and uh, he, he sees that and he kind of smiles and he's like yeah that's a good one that one uh, if you spend a lot of time on the road, this is a good good one to have. Give it offers you some protection at night. That could be and handy. That is handy. I mean, I'm usually always awake because I don't sleep. Yeah, I just have like processors that are always kind of firing off all the time up here, so I don't really sleep all that much. I don't sleep at all, actually. Sometimes I have to shut down for like a couple hours, but I'm still aware of everything that's going on. But I think well, that still would will, be useful. This will help you sort of stay safe even if somebody gets the jump on you. Mm. That's always nice to have. I do not like being scared or jumped on suddenly. But you're okay with being jumped on not suddenly if i'm aware of what's coming and if i accept the jumping onage then that's fine i guess didn't know onage was a word i don't think it is i oh. think i'm gonna go browse for a while okay you just like <laughs> <laughs> i'll just take you off my shoulders and let you <laughs> Wander on your own, you yeah, weirdo. No, it's literally wandering. <laughs> <laughs> What's the um, other one do, Cor? So the other one, he opens the... It's a little leather bag about, you know, yay big. Not and as big as my face. It, no. And he opens it up and he kind of peeks inside and he goes, Oh, these. You... And he sees, like, that you're carrying... You have a great axe, yes? Yep. He kind of opens it up and he dumps it onto the counter and he says, these are perfect for you. And he holds up one of them and it looks to be, you know what a whetstone is? Yeah. He holds it up, but running through it, it's it's smoking faintly. And there's, a, there's kind of a couple of cracks running through it. And he holds it out to you and you can see that it's like covered in frost. And he says, if you use this on your blade, it will give it a little boost of whatever type you use. And you can see that there is, like, a frost one. There's one that looks like probably would cause fire because it looks like it would be hot if you tried to pick it up. I touch it. <laughs> it's warm. It's warm to the touch. Okay. And then there's one that's green. It looks like it has moss growing on it. <gasps> okay. Each of them, generally speaking, they they wear out pretty quickly, but generally speaking, you can get 
on average, four uses out of each one. Okay. That so for fun. the for the bag of like wet stones, he would tell he says that um, it would be uh, twenty five gold for all of them together. Okay. And then for the other the other bag would be seventy five gold. I'll give him a hundred gold then. He puts your little stones back in the bag and he, you know, cinches it up and hands it to you. Thanks, Corv. <laughs> I'll send you what those are. Where did it go? Oh no, where did it go? I haven't had a chance to like put them in the system or in the in the game yet, but I will eventually. Um, you probably can do it faster than I can, but <laughs> uh, I don't think I can if I'm not the DM. So. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. But I can probably works, code so. it on my sheet if you just let me know what it does. Bruh, where did it go? I literally just had them too. Um, okay, so the first one, where it go? I just have to grab the, the green one for you. Um, each of the, the whetstones comes with four chargers. Okay. Nice. Ooh, they're so pretty. <laughs> I just have to find the other one, but... And then the uh, other bag, that. it should tell you. Yeah. That's so cute! A pocket campsite. To activate, point the small pouch away from you and press the rune on the back. Out of the pouch will appear one large tent, two smaller tents, and a campfire with wooden seats around it. The campsite also has the spell Tiny Hut cast upon it. That's so cute! That's awesome! Just boop, boop, <laughs> Yeah. Look at what I can do! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just That's to kind of awesome. give you a little protection at night, so... It works. I dig it, I like it. Mm -hmm. Might have to steal that. Where the hell is or not, because fuck my party. I'll find the other one and... <laughs> I give them enough crap. That's true, and after they killed King Tack, yeah. They got enough crap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's kind of all he's got for, at least for now. He tells you to check back, you know, whenever you get time. Sounds good. Thanks, buddy. Ah, there it is. God, I got this stuff buried everywhere. Oh, how that but goes. yeah, those little the little stones do just give you like a boost on your weapon. So, and it lasts for one battle. Gotcha. Does it take an action to sharpen it? Yes, it takes an action to sharpen. Okay. <clears throat> There's a frost, a fire, and a poison. Did you get all three of them now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. You are able to go back out, and it's getting to be evening now. Um, you guys have been kind of busy. What You went to the library and then decided to go shopping. Elise tells you that she's going to meet up with you later, and then runs off. Oh. Must be to see her friend. Is my guess. Probably. They seem to really like the Habaho soup. It's very good. But from what I heard, I want nothing to do with it. It is very spicy. 
Alright, I don't like the spice. No. So yeah. Is there um, is there any like uh anything mystically looking like a tarot deck or like Ouija board or anything like like in the realm of that? Not that you've seen here. Okay. Um, something like that, you probably have to find more, like if you were to go to the capital or a bigger city than this. Mm. The shop that drew my attention? Not, not really this time. I rolled kind of crappy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, anything that I have, I'll share with you. Appreciate it. Well, I don't see anything. I think I am good to go. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Cross. He just waves at you. Bye. Puts his little glasses back on and starts reading his book again. Are you reading Task Love? I hear that's a really good one. I haven't managed to get a copy of it yet, but I've heard it's quite saucy. Well, if I find one, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. Bring cross New quest. Task Love. Kaboosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Can, laughs> bring the dirty can... book to the owner. <laughs> you can see oh. that the one that he's reading now is titled The Lion and the Lamb. That sounds uh, dirty. We all too. know how that goes. <laughs> all right, I've added it to our quest hooks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's funny. Put it at the top. It should be at the yep. top. I agree. <laughs> yep. Find. Never one. mind the hunt. Never. Never mind any of this children of air shit. Nope. Fetch quest for porn. I got it. <laughs> it's Anyways. important. So you go back outside and um, Robin, you're sort of able to convey to them that you did indeed find the safe house, but it appears that nobody has been there for a couple of days. You weren't able, you didn't go inside, but you did kind of go check it out outside. So you know the location. And you would be able to like lead them there. Convey that to the group. I'll leave it up to them. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I was reading our quest hooks. I just mm -hmm. realized they exist. So. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Aster says what? safe house that we found uh, the address for back when we fought against Cade. I was able to scope it out. I didn't go in, but I do know where it is in case we wanted to go there and check it out. Oh. Did you discover anything with your scopage? God didn't tell me. Oh. Uh, I did not go in. Come on, God! <laughs> you, you were able to tell that, like, the access point is in an alleyway near the docks and that um, you do indeed need that pass phrase to get in. But beyond that, you didn't go inside. You um, you didn't see anybody come in or out in the time that you were watching. So. Hmm. Well, is it, it's nighttime right now, right? Yeah, it's getting to be nighttime. Well, this is probably the best time to check it out, I would yeah. imagine. Let's go. All right, so I'll lead the way, I guess, since I know where it is. All right, yeah. Easy enough to do. Um, you guys have been here long enough now that you're starting to learn your way around town a little bit. And um, you lead them to... Not exactly right on the river, but a couple of streets over, there's an alleyway that 
looks like it ends in like a dead end. And if you go down that alleyway, there is a door that has no handle, but there is a very faded, painted on 12 pointed star. Should I, before we go any further, should I roll a perception to see if anyone has kind of taken notice of our appearance in the area? Is anyone following us? Sure. Make a perception check. Mm, not that you can see. There... So... It is getting to be that time of evening where lots of people are like either getting done with work or you know whatever their day to days are and they're sort of headed either into town or like to the the pubs or whatever and there's quite a few people around but you don't see anybody that's like watching you specifically you guys are kind of an odd party with a robot and a snake as it is so people like notice I am but. a warforged, not a robot. That's true. I get it straight. <laughs> Regardless, you're a strange bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I love every single one of you, but you're a strange bunch. Yeah. So the symbol on the door is the icon for the guild, the thieves guild. Yeah. Yep, for the syndicate. And it's it's pretty faded, so. It looks like nobody's been here in a while, at least, or haven't bothered to upkeep the door. But there is no handle on the door. If that's the case, if there's no handle, then we're probably gonna have to knock and let someone know the passcode, so somebody's gotta be in there. At least that's my assumption. Do you guys need- do you guys have the note that you found? Like, did anybody write it down? Because if not, I can give it to you again. No. No. It was long. <laughs> yeah, it was. It had a, it, uh, I started to try and write it down, and once it got to be too long, I'm like, nope. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> God I've will tell me. <laughs> Five words later. That's nah, too much. Too <laughs> much, okay. Uh, nope, wrong city. Try again. There we go. Yeah, no, I got it. Okay. Ergaderg. Okay, so it tells you. Or not. Or not. Okay. So it tells you, um, you, you kind of okay. open up the piece of parchment so that you it had. Tells you, and it um, the, it's not so much a passphrase as it is a riddle. And it tells you 12 old men up in a tower. 12 old men, only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword, count seven, and find your reward. Y'all can thank Prepper Die for this shit. Oh. Sorry, 12 old men in a tower. 12 old men. Only one with power. Mm. Turn away from the hand with the sword. Count seven and find your reward. And you notice as you sort of look at this, like, now that you're kind of standing in front of the door properly you're able to see that, uh, like, where the 12-pointed star is, the the star, or the point that is topmost is longer than the rest. Twelve-pointed star. So five? Wait, 
Was there something about the number seven? Yep, count seven and find your reward. Count seven. Yeah. Count well, seven. Oh, oh, oh. It would be five yeah. from twelve. So is there? Is there twelve? There is twelve points on this star. Yep. Okay, so I twelve points I, star. Poke the fifth one. Okay, so yeah, you poke the where the fifth one is, and the door kind of shifts and shakes for a second and slides up. Math! What? <laughs> Math saved us! Ugh. Ugh. And Robin, this, is, this isn't really anything that's, like, new to you. You know that, like, to get into these safe houses, you have to usually answer a riddle or have a passphrase, something like that. So this is pretty pretty standard. Got it. It is dark inside. Um. Ah, oh, crap. Does anybody have a light? Oh, sure I have a light. I have a light. Oh, oh, pick me. I have a light. Do you, you want to take point? The light. Take point then, if you have some like a torch. I have like a special. What is it? Where is it? What is it? I have an item that emits light. You I, I can that. send it to you again if you need it. I might need that. Okay. Hold on. I was so confused how to add items, and I think I just constantly deleted items instead of added items. It's, it should be in your inventory. If it's not, let me know and I'll throw it back in there, because I did make oh, it. Sunlight in a box. That's gotta yeah. be it. That's yep. the one. I pull out sunlight in a box so Aster pulls out it looks like it almost looks like a matchbook but when she slides it open it emits light that's really and cool like, you can adjust it you know like brightness wise how far out can it go if you pull it all the way out, it's basically a daylight spell. <laughs> Too much. Reel it back. <laughs> we should go find some vampires. <laughs> <Just so. laughs> Before we head in, should we check for traps? Uh, Aster would not think of that, but if you mention that, yes. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, if you're checking for traps, go ahead and make an investigation check. It does not appear to be trapped. All right then. All right, uh, I move in. Okay. Yeah. So you step in and you see there are no windows in this room, but you do see what looks to be like there's like a sleeping cot sort of over in one corner. There's like a desk sort of thing that's got just papers all over it at the moment. Um, there is a small like brazier kind of looking thing on one end. Um, it definitely looks like nobody's really been here. Like if you look at the, the floor, um, you can see that there's tracks in the dust. So, like, it's been disturbed recently, but it doesn't look like anybody's... Before that, it doesn't really look like anybody had been here for a while. Check out the papers on the desk. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see a lot of it looks to be... Uh, what languages do you speak? The common and halfling. Or hold on, where do so, I find her? On your, is that on your yeah. skills page? Abilities, um, common and halfling. Okay. Okay. And you also know thieves can't, yes? Uh, I believe so, if I got it. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So a lot of it is in like thieves can't, which is, you know, like shorthand. And, um,. It seems to be like shipping, almost like shipping manifests. 
and some of it you can see you can see that there's like numbers next to like city names and one of the city names is Averis. one of the city names is um swordsfall you also see uh black spire is one as well as blind grove and they all have different numbers next to them um but you do uh after a little bit of searching you do find a note that is addressed to Cade. I'm gonna need this. So now it is my note. <laughs> um, it is written in a language you don't understand, though. Can I identify at least what language it is, even though I can't understand it? It looks like it's written in Goblin. Does anybody here know Goblin? Mm. Nope. Nope, or think it's so. It's similar, but not Goblin. Alright, well, in that case, I'm still- I'm gonna pocket the note for later, just in case. Nice, look at it, maybe it'll... Because I don't know, I don't know if I know Goblin or not. Huh. Yeah, you can give it a try. I look at the note. Okay. So the you're able to make out like again it has the it has the same sort of name like it has several na city names on it. Um, it you can see Swordsfall, you can see Blind Grove. There's a place called Keltern which you've never heard of. Um, one thing that sticks out to you in particular is there's a name. There's a name that says Serith. C-E-R-Y-T-H. And with your partially restored memories, you, you know that name. You know that name because that was one of the people that was on the Council of Luminaries. You don't know what the rest of it says, but you recognize that name. And it's oh my God, at, at the I bottom where they're like, <laughs> where the signature is. Again, it's very crudely drawn, but you can kind of get the gist of it. But it's that outstretched wings with the broken, the one that's broken. And it looks to be signed by somebody named Aruk. But you can't really make out the rest of it. I sort of speak goblin. Not actually, but I do Just... recognize this name. Okay. They should be dead by now. Who? Spirit? Oh. I mean, not really a common name, but maybe it's an ancestor or. Oh, sorry, not an ancestor. The opposite. It's a descendant. That's the one. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> uh, so, interesting connections are happening here, apparently. I don't Can really I smell like the it. room? Smell the room? I want to smell it. Sure, make me a perception I'm check. I'm a snake! That's how I percept! <laughs> it's, well, smell, taste. I'm flicking my tongue around a lot. All over the room. I'm just like... <laughs> what are you doing? Getting a sense of the room. Oh, that's not how you do the dice. Oh, good thing that didn't count. Hey yeah. That's about the same. 15. So, you don't find much more than that. Um, there are a couple of, like... Um, like, as you and Robin are sort of looking at the desk, you do see, like, some of the shipping manifests that are there. Uh, a couple of them do make mention of the Golden Forest. Um, which is the auction house here in town. 
that you guys have sort of heard of. Um, and the other thing that you find is like kind of tucked almost in a corner, like you you just barely even saw it, but like there seems to be some sort of like rolled up leather bag of some kind, like tucked into a shelf and like behind an empty box. I attempt to grab this. Okay, you pull it out, and um, it's covered in dust. Like, it's been there for a hot minute. And when you sort of... Yeah. <laughs> you sort of blow it off and, like, um, open it up, and you're, you reach inside and you pull out what looks to be a very delicate looking leather glove that has a spiral of thread or it looks like thread or like very sturdy looking like silk on the back of it and a small hook uh. and Robin you've seen these before yeah. um Several, you've seen that several guild members have had these. However, they're usually given to, like, higher-ups for gifts. Um, so I relay that information to the group. Fancy glove of higher-upness. Yeah, I'll send it. I'll send it to you. It is. is it, and it was is just it, in a, a bag hidden away? Yeah, yeah. like... It hasn't. It looks like it hasn't been used in quite a while. It's pretty dusty. Is there anything in the glove? Uh, no. I put the glove on. Is there anything else in the bag? No. Is there any way to identify whose glove it was if it was for higher ups? Oh yeah. Do they have like this belongs to it found? No, um, not really. Not when you kind of look at it. It looks like, uh, hang on, I will just... I'll are are you sure it's not stitched into, like, underwear? Like the name? It's not Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> if that's what you're after. No, more like Marty McFly. Initials. <laughs> yeah. No, there, there are no initials on it. The only identifying feature on it is that it has a very small... Amped twelve pointed star. Oh. That tells me nothing. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Sent that to you, Keisha. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Whoa, this is dope. I put that sucker on my hand. What? What do you do? What do you do? Go fishing with this? I mean, it says right on there what it is. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can read. Enchanted grapple and rope. A hundred feet of rope? Oh my god. A lot of rope. There's so much rope. You point at a spot where you wish to grapple. The hook on the rope will shoot that direction and successfully grapple onto a surface. Oh my god, I need to become Batman! This is step one! You mentioned before that there's some dust on the floor and you can see that it's been disturbed with people walking around. Is there any yep. indication on the ground of anything moving as far as, like, furniture to give way to, like, a hidden compartment or hidden, like, a fake wall? Hmm... Not with your investigation check. Can... Alright. <laughs> Not really even with Asters. There, it doesn't look... It looks like this was kind of a place to crash. And... Yeah, but there's like no kitchen, no nothing. It's just a bed, a desk. Yep. Oh, there's no other rooms? It's just this No, one. no. It's just sort of this little... It, it's like a little hidey hole, kind of. Oh. I want to flip the bed. Okay, you flip the bed. Let's see if there's and... anything in there. There. Uh, there is tucked underneath the where the mattress is. There is what looks to be a letter. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. Okay. And then let's see. I'm gonna switch to my other note here. <laughs> um, that one is also decayed, but it says. Um, it says, uh, Cade, I've gone to Averis, and you are to you are to head to Keltern. Once you finish sending the rest of the shipment from God, I can't read my own freaking handwriting. <clears throat> you you are to head to Keltern once you finish the shipment from the auction house. Um, the daughter of the sky will reward you most kindly signed Kelly Venturi is people or war forged does not specify I'm just assuming so to the auction house to burn it to the ground because that sounds like a really good plan to me we'll, we'll not burn it right away are you sure because I feel like that's something that needs to happen. Wow. Say that we're there in Cade's place, that he had a snag, he couldn't make it, and we have those pendants so we could pretend to be part of whatever he was doing. At least that's my idea. A good idea. Like, look, like he sent us in his stead. Here's our proof. Mm -hmm. we and then we can burn the place. Alternatively, we could just threaten them. I do have their tattoos still in my bag. That Those are the tattoos of the Syndicate, though. Everyone in the Syndicate has it. Point still stands, I think. <laughs> Don't worry, I I've won't carve yours it. off. I'm assuming you have one. Gonna say if I do or if I don't, with the threat of having something carved off my body. Well, you're my friend. I'm not going to carve it off you. And I wasn't the one that carved it in the first place. That was Elise. Yeah, that's also true. I'm just carrying them around because I have the bag of colding. Fair. Well, I volunteer myself to not talk because if they ask me questions about why we're really there, I'm not... I'm going to be inclined to tell the truth, so I will just stay silent. Well, I think Robin has the most experience with this, so probably best yes. if they take the lead. We will do what Fades you with the guild. want us to do. Cade was in with other stuff that I have no idea. Hmm. Like people trafficking. That's not part of the guild. No, but you have access. You know? And the auction house is the Golden Forest, was that? Yep. It's on the map. Um, it's across the river from where you guys are now. But, I mean, you could easily, easy enough to find it. Also, if we were going there, I think Ram might turn some heads. Because obviously Cade was trying to get Ram. Do we want to go in under the guise of, like, look what we have. We have to add this to the inventory. The Chewbacca defense. Oh, Chewbacca. I've heard of it. <laughs> I don't know who Chewbacca is, but I feel like that might work. <laughs> Whatever that reference came from. <laughs> he was a furbog that lived in the North Mountains. It's hard. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. it. Perfect. Thanks, God. <laughs> God is talkative. Mm. Yeah, that could... Oh, my little circus monkeys, go. That could go. <laughs> that could work. Let's... Alright, well... I've what got... were the... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I just wanted to just double check the two letters that we found. One that I just found on the bed was from... K-A-L-A-I-S. K -A -L -A -I -S. And the other letter, the one that... So wait, we found three letters? One was in Goblin. And then, no, you only found two. Okay. Mm. 
One I of them exactly. had more. One of them had more cities listed on it than the other one did. And the one from Calais. Um, could yep. could you repeat the one from Calais that we found under the bed? Uh, yeah, it said that she's gone to Averis, and that Cade is to go to um, Keltern once the shipment has been sent. Caltern? Uh, Keltern. K-E-L-T-U-R-N. Keltern. We could just say that he, we're in, going in his place, but he's already on his way there. So I'm I'm all good to head over to the auction house. Let's go. I mean, there's nothing else here. Let's do it. Okay. So yeah, you make your way across the river. Um, the auction house, you guys actually walked past it a, a couple of times. It's... It's very much like one of those sort of hey, look at me kind of buildings. It's very, very gaudy on the outside. It's almost like it, it's trying to hide in plain sight by being in your sight. So, hmm. sort of over the top. It looks like it's got like, there's like gold, gold leaf paint on the doors and just looks very ostentatious. I really don't like this place. I don't either. Anybody have any manacles? Damn. I think Elise does. I think that's something that Maggie said that they had bought. <laughs> I think so, oh. yeah. <laughs> Do we want to go in? used right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> It does look like there's alleys running on both sides of it. If you wanted to sort of investigate the whole building. Yeah, I want to take a look around the whole building just to see as far as like possible exits. And I don't know, should we go in through the front door or if there's like a side or a, a loading dock, do we want to try going in there? Um, I don't like... Okay. Sneak in? The building is dark right now. But you're able to sort of make your way around the building. Um, everybody make me perception checks as you sort of walk around the building. Oh, tongue, go. 19. Oh. Okay. So yeah, between the three of you, you're sort of able to, you know, find your way around the building. Um, you, you sort of come to the, like, the back side of the building, and you notice that there are two covered wagons back here, alongside what looks to be, like, a sliding, like, loading door. Um, but it does appear to be locked. Well, I can fix that, and I pull out my great axe. What? Uh, well, well, hold on. Hold the on. covered wagon... <laughs> Okay. Um, lower your accent. The wagon that we came across after the ship crashed on their way to town, do any of these look similar to that wagon? That it had the symbol? They both have that same symbol on them. Alright. I'm just worried that if we run into the, the imposters again, they might recognize us. How long does your arcane awareness thing last? It's only like a minute. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ignore me. I cast it. <laughs> I suddenly have inspiration too. <laughs> I feel like I should look for something arcane. <laughs> well, anyone here know how to pick locks very well? I look at Robin. Can you can you do that? Because my solution is to hit it. Uh, the wagon, or are you inspecting the wagons? 
I, w I was because I wanted to make okay. sure if this was the same wagon that we saw on the road because that would kind of give me the impression that the imposters we met could possibly mm. be in there and could possibly like blow our cover. Okay. The ones who so, gave us the finish puffs. They, so both wagons have this symbol carved into them on all four sides. Um, and you kind of like hoist yourself up on the, like where the back is to kind of look inside and you go to like open the curtain in the back, your hand goes through it. So it's an illusion. Robin, your hand. It's still there. Oh, that's, that's a good magic trick. Can you teach me how to do that? Because I can just I do can this do and I like unscrew my hand and like. I can make it disappear too. Ah, uh -huh. oh, you can't see it. Ah. Uh. So there's an illusion cast on these wagons. Yes, it looks like the covered, like the the canvas that goes over the top, is an illusion. That seems like a really Just weird the... thing to put an illusion Very magic on. Is there any way we could dispel it or yeah, get past it's... it to see what it's I actually? Mean... Hiding. Well, your hand goes your hand goes right through it, so you could stick your face in there if you wanted. Oh. Seems dangerous. I stick my face in there. Well, there you go. I do the same. <laughs> I'm gonna you wait a moment to see if your face <laughs> come back out. You, as you stick your face in there, um, where are you? Where are you standing when you do this? Just because it's funny. Probably the back of the wagon. Okay, yeah, so you would be in the back with Robin. Where are you? Probably just on the side, like... Oh. Roll, me, roll me a d6. Oh, no. Keep an eye out to see if anyone comes around. Five. <laughs> you, so, Aster, you go to stick your head... No, you don't have to roll in, but... Okay. You go to stick your head in there, and you... Your face sort of passes through that illusion barrier... And Ram, you try to do the same thing and meet something metal and hard and clock yourself in the face. What the hell, Robin? You said I it did was not illusion. <laughs> yeah, but there's something in there that it's, uh, you know, covering up. That's why I'm not sticking my face in there. <laughs> Aster, as you, as you stick your head in there, you can see there are cages in here. Oh. Are there any the in iron these cages? No, they're empty, but they, there does appear to be iron cages in there. There's cages in here. So these were most likely transporting people. That's my guess. Oh, burning it down then? You gotta get inside first. But also, I would, before setting out on fire, I would make sure that if they have any hostages, to set them free first. Yeah, because oh, if well, they're. Yeah. Yeah, if they're in cells, we don't want to, you know, burn them alive. It's a terrible way to die. I agree. Yeah. And drown. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I want to attempt to pick that lock. Is this the lock to the cage in the wagon, or is this the lock to the back to of the, the building? The building, yeah. Is just, there just, I want to have thieves' tools? Um, I have thieves tools, but also before we do that, um, if we get caught and we have to make a run for it, I don't want them using these wagons. Is there any way to disable the wagons or um, kind of like... I can do that. Yeah. Like Why break an it? axle, but it doesn't appear like it is. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make too much noise oh. either. Yeah. Oh, smash. Are they, like, just typical wagon wheels? Yes. I'm gonna take the hubcaps. Okay. So, they will We can won't... sell these. <laughs> I'm gonna sell them. I'm gonna... Hey! Put oh, it up on blocks, man! Like... Win-win! No, I'm gonna take the <laughs> hubcaps, because then the wheels are not... on them. They're on them, but, like, they'll move, like, ten feet and they'll fall off. Get secured anymore. Good. Right, How so many I can... caps do I have? Well, there's two wagons, so eight. Eight, eight hubcaps. Eight. Um, did anybody leave anything on the wagons? Like any personal belongings or bags or? No, they're very. The they're very seat. empty. Okay. 
Well, wait. So we looked in the illusion for one cart. Is there anything in the other cart? Same thing. Iron Just cages. Empty cages? Yep. Nothing at all left over? Nothing? Okay. No. Nope. Um, okay. So I have these tools that I can use to see if I can pick the lock on the back. Um, okay. So roll me a thieves tools check. So it's boop. your proficiency and your dex bonus, right? Well, I have it under skills. There's an actual thieves tool here. Yeah. So roll me a d20 and add whatever it says. Okay. Well, before that, should I check to see if it's trapped? Go for it. Make me an investigation check. No. Nope. It's fine. Oh. All right. So <laughs> these tools. Yep. What is this? <laughs> Double ones. <laughs> Are you sure you're it's a rogue? Those nights. <laughs> what? It's gonna be one of those nights. <laughs> That's Ooh. insane. That like never Boy. happens on roll twenty. Uh, or on um. Fancy grounds. I was gonna to say me. on roll twenty, <laughs> all the time. You were rolling for like thirty skeletons. Uh, yeah, it was bound to happen. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So you you attempt to pick this lock. Thankfully, it's not a huge DC. However, you once you get the lock open, there was a very faint, like, thread running from it that you didn't notice at first that goes ping and, like, flies up to where the door is. And you hear somewhere inside, you hear the tinkle of a bell. I know we're here. So, so we can either come in through the back or we can just book it to the front. I just great axe the door. All right, I'm uh, just gonna move out of the way. I, I mean, it's unlocked. You could just slide it open now. Okay, well, I'm gonna like Sparta kick it then. Uh, Diplomacy okay. is no longer an option. All right. Oh, oh there it goes. We were being we diplomatic got... before. <laughs> okay. Well, so you, you kung fu kick the door or whatever it is you're doing to the door. Sparta kick. It opens. Sparta kick. It opens. Sort of. And you're sort of able to, like, get around it. Um, and you see in front of you is a very, like, long, dark hallway that to your left, there is what looks to be steps going down into a basement. And straight ahead, there are, like, two doors to the right and left. Uh, Milking out I... wherever you are! I kind of want to turn into something like a spider and crawl around this place. I guess the question is, are you going what? loud or are you going quiet <laughs> at this point? I I want to go quiet. I I'm gonna I'm gonna wild shape into a spider. I don't know how much quiet we can go now that the door's been kicked in. They know I'm here. They don't know you're here. So, Astrid, I'm assuming you put her down for this. I don't care if oh. there's a spider on me. Okay, well, suddenly there's a spider, Aster. Ah! <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> kidding. As one point of damage turns back into <laughs> Aster. <laughs> like a flying off. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> no! Pull up my stupid. <laughs> to pull up the correct map here. Don't freaking do it! Oh no! Oh, every freaking time! I mean, it, it lasted a while. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Oh, oh yeah, we're still good. Yay! You told oh, it, and it listened. I literally clicked one stupid button. You can't freak out about that. Yes, I can. <laughs> we are not friends. Okay. 
Well, hang on. What can I turn into? Is ice even an option? Where? Just something small. What's the smallest thing I can be? I have a list I can send you. One sec. Gotta grab it. I can turn into a cow? Moo. <laughs> Oh, you know, it would make sense Combat, if I just that turned That would be into... hilarious. I know. <laughs> Everyone's confused. <laughs> Even the bad guys are like, huh? Like, what? Why is there a cow in here? What's happening? Maybe I should actually be a snake. That might... Well... What? I think technically right, a that... snake is the smallest thing I can be. Uh, okay, so where are you going? Are you going down the stairs, or are you going further into the building? For going further into the building before going down into a creepy basement where I have no idea where it leads. <laughs> okay, so... But I don't know uh, what everybody else wants to do. Robin, roll me a stealth check. Aster, roll me a stealth check as a spider. Or whatever it is that you're turning into. a raptor? I need to stop looking at this list. Um, I turned into one of those ones. That's great. That's excellent. We were doing Tomb of Annihilation and I was playing a, a druid and dinosaurs are native to Chult, so I was like, hell yeah. And then two sessions later, my character got eaten by something. So yeah, well, as you're checking there, figuring that out, Robin, you're able to uh, sort of stealth away from the group a little bit, and um, there's a door on the right and the left. Uh, Which one would you can like I, to look at? Can I listen? I mean, the doors are just solid. There's no glass or anything to see through them. Yeah, they're just like regular wooden doors. All right, I want to kind of press my ear up against him to see if I can sense anybody in there. Okay, make me a perception check. You don't hear anything coming from either of them. All right. <laughs> What are the other- what is everybody else doing? I'm okay, just going I down can... the hall. Okay, great. So I, I can do a normal. Because I'd like to s at least- I'd like to at least try and see if the door is unlocked. Okay, uh, the right or the left? I'll go with the right. Okay, yeah, you kind of wiggle the handle and it's unlocked. You open it up and there is, um, it's like another sort of short hallway almost and it leads into- what looks to be uh, an auction room. Okay. It's empty. It's dark. There's, there's like a little, you know, podium with with a little like a, uh, like a dais where you could set stuff, you know, to show it off. Like a, a typical auction house would be. I'm gonna show the door again and try the one on the left. Okay. You open the one on the left. This appears to be an office. Ooh. I am interested in this office. Okay. I'll stand guard um, in the hallway. Okay. I'll go downstairs. Uh, it... But you do you. You do you first. Okay. What did you turn into, by the way? A spider. Okay. Um. How? Like, itty bitty. I oh, okay. Jump. I'm a jumping spider. Those little okay. cute ones that are just like me. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um, is there anything like distinguishing about your animal form? Like that you mm. carry over from one to the other? I still Kills. have that like <laughs> angry giant eyes look like i just still yeah, have that like the angry eyebrows furrowed yeah 
Okay. <laughs> Spider with angry eyebrows. I like it. Yeah, just <laughs> got her angry eyes on. <laughs> and it's just my face. <laughs> Uh, okay, so as you're sort of checking out the um, the office, make me an investigation check. Okay, so you find everything that you would like normally associate with an auction house. There's like shipping logs and that sort of thing. Um, you do find like kind of one drawer that seems to be locked in, in this drawer it's like a it's like a roll top desk kind of thing and you find one drawer that seems to be locked well i want to open it up all right roll me a thieves tools or a thieves yeah thieves tools check okay yeah you're able to get it open fairly easy um you pull it open, and there is, inside, there is a small, like, leather-bound journal. Well, does it have anything written on it, on the outside? N no, it, it's very nondescript on the outside. Alright, well, obviously it's important since it was behind, it was in a locked compartment, so I want to take a look through it. Okay. So, yeah, it's, as you kind of open it up, it looks to be... Um, it looks to be a shipping manifest that looks very similar to the ones that you found in the hideout, but the handwriting is distinctly female. Everything that was in the hideout looked like it could have been written by a doctor. It was so messy. The This is very, it's very neat and legible. Very, you know, like, very, very pretty cursive. Is there anything in here that, uh, that I should be aware of? Anything? So it, everything that's in there is listed as package or shipment. However, it m matches up, it only goes to four cities. Averis, Keltern, Blackspire, and um, Swordsfall, which were the ones from the note. There are no shipments going anywhere else from that that are listed in that journal. All the other like shipments, shipping logs, and things like that that you found in the office, they go to all kinds of places, like Ebonbreak, which is the capital, or there's some that go out to Bear Spire, which is to the east. Um, there's some that even go to Co, uh, but everything here, ev everything that's in this journal only goes to those four cities. So those will be points of interest for uh, a later day. So I'm going to take this journal. Okay. Is, is there like any other names in there? Like just thumbing through all the pages, the front, the back? Um, binding? so where the um well, where it's listed as like package or um shipment there are names next to it like they were almost like it, if somebody were to look at this and not know what it is that they're looking at looks like this package was being sent to this person however as you look at it you you start to notice that like there are a couple of names that you recognize because of the names that Elise found um, when you guys investigated. You also recognize the name Sarabi is in there with the city um, Swordsfall next to it. Well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this this book and uh, okay. we can we can pour over it later. Okay, you don't find much else in here no um, money nothing like that. N no it, it seems like either they took whatever kind of lockbox that they would have with them they like they didn't leave it here all right well i'm gonna take their pens okay. make it really <laughs> inconvenient yeah yep awesome 
Uh, I love that. You you do find a couple of really nice reed pens. Taking those. Just being a nuisance. There's no money in here. I'm taking something. Yeah. They have a paperweight. I'm taking it. Uh, there's a very fancy looking, like, marble paperweight. Mine. Okay. And then I'll you, join You the... guess that it's worth about three silver. Oh, I don't care how much it's worth. I just want to inconvenience them. Okay. Three silver. It's Good enough. Point. I mean. <laughs> Plus, yeah. I could probably the use it the thing. as a uh, improvised bludgeon weapon. There you go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you're able to step back out in the hall and Ram is keeping watch. Um, you have no idea where your spider friend went. So really the only other places to look, we've already established the door on the right leads out to the auction room. Door on the left is the office I just came out of. There's no upstairs. There's just the stairs to go down. Yep, just down to a basement. And there wasn't right. anything in the auction room, right? Just like the seats and stuff? No, it was just empty and like there were seats and stuff like that with a podium, but there wasn't anything there. Okay. Was there a door? Like we came in through the back. Where? Yeah. So the auction room, the auction room had a door that led out to where you saw the front of the building was. Okay. So this whole this whole place is just one giant auction room, I guess. Pretty much, yeah. All right. So obviously somebody knows we're here because of the thread and the bell. Well, I mean, if it's the guards, they're not going to do anything because they suck here. Um. But I'm just thinking, like, the only other place that we can investigate is in the basement. So if if we're going to be running into somebody, it's going to be down there. All right, let's go then. Oh, the wait, kitchen. does anyone have the ability to, to see if there's any, like, magic? Like, the illusions out in the, the wagons, are there any illusions in here like, on the first floor? I will... Arcane Awareness and check like i'll scan the rooms and then head down to the basement so i can get a scan down there before the minute's up just to make sure that we're not missing anything up here okay yeah you don't get anything that's on the same level as you you do get something like down you do get uh two distinct pings for sure ready to go downstairs Let's go. Not sure what school of magic. I is. feel like I want to just Heading down. axe my way through the floor, but that's probably going to take too long. Uh, 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 yes, that's why. Okay, just give me a second here. I'm going to push a map out if Fantasy Grounds doesn't flip out. Stop it. Hide in my cloak, so Robin. Good. Nobody will notice you. Okay. And the cloak. She just becomes a halfling backpack. Yep. I'm just gonna be, like, on the ceiling. Following down. So, Aster, you see it first as you come down the stairs. Also, uh, I just got a message from Maggie, or not from Maggie, but from Maddie, that says that it's okay if you run Pog. Okay. And so, if you want... Sure, Pog. I can take Pog. Okay. Release Pog, because I feel bad about what you're about to walk into. Uh, Don't. Because, <laughs> uh... uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> what? We, we did this to ourselves. Oh, okay, you should be able to grab. Just, if I just stay on the wall, I'm fine. So yeah, Aster, as you make your way down in the basement, there mm -hmm. are torches lit down here. Mm. And you see bear in a hill. So you're like there. Does it show like can you see Oops, you on way. the map? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you locked? Yeah. Like, can you move yourself? Hey, yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Can I move it? Oh, 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 look at I. Look at look at me. I'm making arrows. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. 
Sorry. My, like, my, my ring light is, like, literally right over where those stupid buttons sit. Mm. Uh, yeah, me too. I Sometimes thought... you'll see me doing and this. I, like, yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm trying I to see past my it. webcam. <laughs> okay, so that is what you see. You also hear behind you the clumping of metal feet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, you see... So... <sighs> You see ahead of you what looks to be a like a T in the the area. You see uh, what looks to be like um it's like somebody put a suit of armor here and uh, it's just sort of like there and it, it looks very dusty, but it looks like you can go either to the right or to the left. Left. Always go left. I'm gonna drop you guys on the map here too, just so that you can do do the thing. Oops, that's not the right one. There. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you guys, as you sort of are coming down the stairs. You see a little spider, spider climbing on the wall. Ah, kill it! <laughs> Angry looking eyebrows. Oh wait, never mind. It's Aster. No! <laughs> I know that face Help anywhere. Me! Help me! <laughs> Splat. Hey, there's Aster. <laughs> How many hit points does the spider have? Is it one? One. Yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you make your way around the corner. You can see that there's a door, um, you know, ahead of you, and then there's a door across the way. I'm going in. Boop. So you kind of wiggle your little spider butt underneath the door, and um, yeah, of <laughs> this, you see what is there. There's four beds. Um, they are currently empty. There's nobody there. Mm. Um. But, is there... yeah. Is there anything? I want to, like, just run around. Do spiders, and just have be... d do spiders have dark vision? Yes. Okay, so you can see, you can see in here. It's dark in here. There's nobody in here. Is there anything worth, like, looking through? If there's any, like, bags or... Tables? Um, it looks like there's, like, a pouch or, like, a haversack of some kind at the foot of one bed. I crawl in there. If or I can. a spider inside of a backpack. Oh. This is not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it smells in there. Like, there's stinky clothes in there, for sure. Oh, oh it's overwhelming. <laughs> oh, get out. <laughs> uh, so, you three, as you come clomping down the stairs... Technically, I'm clomping. Robin yeah. is hiding. <laughs> and let's see how stealthy Pog's being. I feel like Pog would try to make an attempt. <laughs> I think so, too. Uh, yeah, how's an 11? <laughs> Try was keyword. Yep, yep. Yep, it was. Just a second, just a second. Let me see. I mean, if the bell didn't set them off, like... <laughs> so, yeah, kind of, as you come down the stairs, Ram, there is no making you quiet. No. It just, you're not designed that way. Pog is trying. Pog hits every single creaky floorboard on the way down. That's okay. As can't, you, she can't be heard beyond me, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, as you sort of step down off of the stairs and onto the, like the the stone floor that's down there, you see ahead of you there is a suit of armor, and next to it, sort of like leaning against the wall, is a sword. 
that begins to move. And I need everybody to roll initiative. No. Oh. Well. <laughs> Why? I don't want it. Oh. Y'all came in here. Don't start with me. Ah, okay. Uh... Did it turn on or not? There it is. So yeah, the uh, the suit of armor steps down off of the little plinth that it was on. And the sword suddenly flies up into the air and, like, aims in your direction. Aster, you were the first one up. And okay. you can hear Ram coming down the stairs, followed by more metal sounds. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna... I'm just a, I'm just a little spooter. What's the scooter to I'm do? assuming one of you goes, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can move. Damn it. Five, and I start rewiring. 15, 20. Okay. You, you, as you say that, there is a knock on your, like, chest plate. Not now, Reggie. You go to right open now, it. Reggie. You open it up to go to rewire yourself, and he's already holding it. Oh. Okay, we'll do it then. Okay, he plugs you in. <laughs> Not so hard! <laughs> and you go into a rage, I'm assuming. On my turn, yeah. Yep. Okay. Aster, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm just gonna run around like a crazy person. Okay. 20. So I moved 20. So I guess I'm gonna move again! Are you still a spider? Yeah. Okay. I'm assessing the situation. <laughs> you see, as you kind of wiggle out from underneath the door, you see there is a sword now flying in the air in the hallway. There is also a suit of armor that has begun to move. Mm. I'm currently not feeling scared right now. Oh. Probably should bring up combat Spider, stuff. it's fine. What could go wrong? Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> That'll be my turn. I just- I just move. Alrighty then. Uh, I forgot to do the thing. Sorry. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, okay. I was like, complete! Stop! Mm. Move on! Hug! Hog is gonna move here. Whoa. So fast. And... I go fast, gotta smash. Ma'am, what are you doing? She's gonna use her breath weapon. <laughs> yeah. Am I allowed to do that? Does she know she can do that? I don't want to do how. it if she can't. She doesn't know how to use it. Okay, well then she doesn't do that. Okay. Uh, she will, however, uh, hold her action to punch whatever, or like hit whatever comes closest. With her quarter staff. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <clears throat> there you are. Okay. Put you over here, I guess. All right. Cool. So now it's the armor's turn. It's gonna do its job, and it's gonna move forward. Looks like healthy armor. Smack. Yeah. A natural one. <laughs> Oh. Yay! Pog has never good. seen one of these before and like goes to like pull their staff out and almost clocks themselves in the face rather than the armor. And the Yeah, that tracks. Armor is going to Let's see here. Going to make its attack. So the first one is that's a 10. Nope. Pog sort of like dances out of the way a little bit. 
second attack. That's an 11, that also misses. So yeah, Paga's like, distracted by the fact that they almost hit themselves, and like, dances out of the way, just enough that it the suit of armor misses. Um, Robin, you are up. Alright, uh, I'm going to... Let's see, I don't think I have to move. I think I'm close enough that my arrows will hit. Um, because I'm going to attack, or at least focus on the anim animated armor. If I can remember how. I'm going to turn this on just so I don't forget to do their turn. But you do hear from, like, the room to your right, there's something in there. Just in a room at the moment. All right. Well, I'm not going to go. Turn it on so that I didn't. <laughs> I'm um, turning it on so I didn't forget about it. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to lock on to the opponent. Control click. You can All either right. click their picture on the map or on the combat tracker. You got it. There you go. Yep. Got it. It's just not showing up on the map. Oh, you okay. have to click your icon. And it should show an arrow. Not control click, just click it. Okay. And it should show an arrow to your target. Alright, so I'm going to use my short bow. Roll to attack. Oh, that was almost a 17. Uh, I know! It was like, eh, nope. <laughs> Jerk. Okay, yeah, that definitely misses. Then I'm going to... Let's see, uh, I'm gonna hide. There's nothing for you to hide behind here. Can I hide behind Ram? Yes, you can, because you are a halfling. Just hang on so... to my back, because I'm gonna start running. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna hang on to you, I'm just gonna walk behind you. So, should I just move my character... Behind I would Ram? say, so if Ram is gonna move, you either have to be riding ram or you have to wait till your next turn to hide all right well i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna defend then okay. and i am done ram do the thing rushing Burn. and raging reggie squeaks and pulls your your chassis shut <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> and smack with the great axe or not, because oh, I rolled a three. Boy. It's gonna be a <laughs> rough battle on all sides. <sighs> <laughs> yep. That's a thing that's happening. <laughs> it's like Monday all over again. Yep. Cool. Need to get that second all attack. Right, so. Yep. Oh, but so. I need to do my scientific surge. One second. Do you think? I am doing the thing. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't even have to run. <laughs> okay. My teleportation belt engages, and I am able to teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can see until my rage ends. I can do this as a bonus action. So, Robin, you, because you're behind um, Ram, you see there's a very sudden like flash of blue light and Ram, like, disappears and reappears 30 feet away. And after you see, all of a sudden, Ram just, like, appears. Uh, no. <laughs> you still miss. However, the door to your right flies open, and uh, out comes a very angry-looking, uh... Fuck is he? <laughs> Orc? Oh. No, is he? Hang on. A fork? Furbolg. He's, uh, he's just a bandit. So, Goblin. Uh, <laughs> he uh, looks like he's a uh, half orc. Because why not? And he sees you and Pog very. Like, he's already got his weapon drawn. And he is, like, ready to go. So he's gonna. Just get to you, nice. Okay. And he's 
gonna you can take hits, you. right, Ram? <laughs> oh, sweet. And because his buddy is right there, he gets advantage. So... Um, you see, he pulls out a rather gnarly looking greatsword. With the uh, 20 to hit. That hits. You take 12 slashing damage. No, I don't. Wow. Okay, you take 6 slashing damage, <laughs> whatever. Do. What in the hell is that? Okay, that's all he does on this turn. Uh, next is the sword. That is gonna move up here against Pog because it can sort of sense Pog. Come on, man, just get through the combat. Just do it. That's all I want you to do. Okay. It's gonna swing at Pog. Ow. That's a natural 20. Yeah, that, that'll hit. Oh, yeah. So, let's see, we start at 8. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't do that. So, Pog actually takes... Pog takes 15 total damage. Is there a way to, like, make it not roll automatically? Because I do... For crits, I do max plus one. Or max plus your roll. Uh, you should be able... Like... It shouldn't roll the damage automatically. It is. Well, yeah, if you double click the damage on the NPC token. Yeah. Just don't do that. Oh, oh just, okay, it's, I see what you're saying. Just use the regular dice. Okay. Anyways, so that's that's turn. Uh, Aster, your friends are getting ganked. You see, Pog takes a pretty nasty looking gash. That's, this is, this is bad. This is what you call bad. Um, I suppose I will switch out of booter shape and turn into sparkles as I use my other wild shape to turn into a starry form instead. Whew, I'm like sparkly aster now. Okay. What does your starry form look like? Uh, hmm. I imagine she would be like very dark, like the night sky, but you can see like the movement of like stars and constellations like on her body kind of a thing. Okay. Uh, and her eyes are just like glowing this like misty white angrily. Okay. And Ram, you as you sort of like see this kind of out of the corner of your eye, you also see around Aster's head, there is what looks to be, um, you've seen the Northern Lights, obviously, the, it looks like the Aurora Boris, Borealis is around her head. Pretty. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> um, and with those... Her medallions that she has, like, just kind of tucked into her hair. She would pull those forward, and she's going to specifically move them around in the constellation of Archer. So she's going to be in that form. Okay. So yeah, as you do that, you it you move them around, and the constellation that is on your, your arm lights up. Ooh. Um, and I believe... You activate this. 
So I think it takes an action to activate it. Is that right? I think Starry Form's a oh, bonus action. I don't know action. anything about the Earth. Bonus. Okay, Starry Form. Blah, blah, blah. As a bonus action, you expend a use of Wild Shape to take on a Starry Form. Okay, so you would still have an action then, so, and your movement. I can target within 60 feet with Archer. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. Try and, try and hit. Alright, so... Um, how would I attack with... What would be my plus for that? That's just like attacking with a spell, I'm guessing? Uh... I don't know. I I'm, know, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <sighs> I'm trying to read as I go. I've never used a Circle of Star Druid before, so I don't know. You can... Okay, you make a ranged spell attack. Are there no buttons coded in if you're on combat? Did you flip um, it over to, to your see. combat setting? Yes, I'm in combat mode. And your display is? Actions. Group. Summary. Yeah, actions. Is there... Are there cast Damn buttons it. there? Oh, I guess this one? Oh. You have to target. Let's target. Let's target. That I think you have to cast target. first before you do damage. Control click. All right. Oh, perfectly within 60 feet. Okay, so. How do I roll for that? There should be a cast and it'll look like a d20. And if you scroll over it, it'll say cast, either a con save or a ranged attack. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at wild shape the whole time. <laughs> so silly am I? Oh. That messed up. up. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do Dang like it. the superhero three-point landing as you fall off of the wall and like transform back into yourself. And you stand up and you look all badass and you take aim and your arrow just goes wide. Oops. Stop trying to look cool and just shoot him! Uh, <laughs> the oh, I'm gonna turn, stay over here. <laughs> Alright. Pog right. is up. Pog is going to hit the armor with the quarter staff. 20? Dirty 20? That hits. And they're going to spend a key point to do two unarmed strikes. That hits. Ooh. Don't do it. Yeah, it's doing it. So I rolled a 19 plus 6. Oh, That's 25 and max damage on the second unarmed strike, which is an 8. Once Fantasy Dead Rounds gets done freaking out here. Yeah. Come on, man, you were doing so good. Yeah. It let cool. us do a whole round. There it goes. <laughs> well, we'll be right back <laughs> while Fantasy yeah. Ground sorts its shit out. Uh, yeah. Oh, see, there it goes. Yep, we'll be right back.
just sort of is up to you guys. I figure we'd finish this and you guys can kind of decide from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're back. Fantasy Grounds is... Fantasy Grounds. Being Fantasy Grounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Of course. In the middle of combat. Yeah, because, of course. You know. It was fine all day, but... Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it is now the suit of armor's turn, and it's going to do the thing. I'm pretty sure they already went and missed. Yep, I think no, so. No, the... <laughs> nice. Nice try. Uh, so it's going to <laughs> move, it's going to like turn its attention to Ram. Hello. Keep it up, buddy. <laughs> it's going to do. Oh, first how do you bring up the map? Uh, on your oh, character sheet, on. double click the right picture at the top. A boop. Why is it? Wow! Stop oh, cook, 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 cook. There's a rug. Oh. Oh, is there a rug? Probably a rug know. of suffocating. I know. I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of paranoid about rugs. I've almost had a character die from one. All things. I don't know, man. You'll just have to find out. Alright, so that first attack, it was only an eight. That misses. And do the thing. That's 15. Misses. Cool. Robin, your turn. Alright, I'm gonna, uh, for some reason I do not have the map up on mine. I'll push it out to you. Alright, so... I'm still, I guess, within range of the animated armor, so I'm going to attack them. If I can okay. get the window back. Okay. Get him. That definitely nice. hits. Don't forget yeah. your sneak attack. Yeah. Nice. Nice job. Okay. Yeah, so... God. It, it's a suit of armor. It, it looked like it was once upon a time pretty decorative. It definitely doesn't look super awesome. But if that's the end of your turn... Yep. Ram, you are up. Gonna ram him. I'm so funny. True to your name. <laughs> <laughs> How about a 22? Yeah. That's damage. Max damage. Wow. Yeah, it had like four hit points left. That's fine. <laughs> it makes me feel good. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn um... to the half orc and go, you're next. Oh, God. <laughs> So it is his turn. He is going to just go to town on you with his great sword. What the hell? That's a 14. Nope. <laughs> Fine, it's a sword's turn. No. <laughs> you just tell it, no. Nah. Well, that's what no, Agony does, so. and it always seems to work, so no. Mm. <laughs> Blame Agony. All Blame right. Agony. That's nine. No. <laughs> After you're up. Thanks, gotta touch this. And touch this. And where I'm just like, clink, 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 clink. <laughs> I'm doing the just robot. Like, clink, clink, clink. Uh, well, apparently, 
I don't need to do much because Ram murders all the things. Uh... It's not murder, it's self defense. Oh, okay, <laughs> call it whatever you need to to make yourself feel better. Well, That's... you guys are having this conversation mid battle. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll, man. wonder if maybe this time I can hit something that would be kind of great. Probably not. 13 that misses. Uh... Okay. I guess that's my turn. I can't hit anything. Uh, okay, Pog, Pog is up. Hog is going to try and hit the um, flying sword. Okay. With the quarter staff for a twenty-two. That hits. And unarmed strike. Sixteen. Misses. Oh, Whoa. okay. Barely, but it misses. All right. Uh, Robin, you are up. Alright, I'm going to attack the Aruk. So I will see if that hits. No! Oh no. Oh no. Alright, and that's the end of my turn, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, you, you go to shoot and like, Ram, there's an arrow that comes dangerously close to giving you a new line on your face but misses just barely i just kind of like look over at robin <laughs> all red crazy eyes nice shooting <laughs> hit the guy again 21 that hits okay almost like the image of you're like you're looking at robin as you like smack the guy <laughs> 17 <laughs> damage <laughs> Okay, yeah, that hits. <laughs> Alright, uh... That's not where I wanted that. Whoa, that is not what I wanted it to do. Hold on. Clicking mm -hmm. on stuff. I'm not supposed to be clicking on here. Okay. There we go. Okay. And it is his turn now, so he is just going to go after Ram here. Oh, duh, I forgot he can do that. It's a natural 20. Yeah, that'll hit. For 25 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't start with me. Thank you. So you're going to take 18 damage. No, I'm not. Whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, barbarians! <laughs> barbarians! You take, uh, you take nine. Yeah. The same issue in my party. <laughs> oh, start oh. giving shit multi attacks just because of you. All right. I get damage. Now it's the sword. Oh, you're maybe not for you. I don't know about Warforged. What about Warforged? Well, the only way I can ever hit my barbarian in my party is psychic damage. The oh, only way. Because they're Tone of the Bear? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had that issue, and unfortunately, psychic damage didn't even help because he was a Kalistar. Oh, oh! No, that you did it smart. I hate that. Yep. <laughs> uh. Alright, so the sword is going to go after Pog still here. Okay. With a seven. No. Okay, Aster, you're up again. Oh boy. Alright. I'm ready to miss again. What is my. Uh, Aster kind of wants to grab the sword, but she's too far away. She's kind of bummed about that. Okay. 
get a little get a little bit closer now. Uh, and is it up to sixty feet with that archer? Blah 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 blah. Yes. One creature within sixty feet. Great. Okay, so it's very special. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that misses. No! <laughs> I thought it wasn't nah. <laughs> Nope. Again, no! just barely. It just barely misses. No. It, okay. You see that like this sword is kind of moving around and it it's kind of hard to hit a target that's wiggling around that much. Stop wiggling. I'm gonna grab it. Hug. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Going to attack with the quarterstaff. Miss. That's a miss. Unarmed I strike. Feel about myself. Oh, that hits. Dirty 20. And they're going to spend a key point to do the open hand technique to knock the sword prone. Never mind, it's unconscious. <laughs> oh, yeah, sort of. As Pog, like, you see I'm going to do, do something some, epic. Some pretty oh. dope monk shit and like reaches out and like just very Matrix style, like jabs at the sword just right. And it like you can see where the the handle meets where the blade comes out. There's like a crack that forms there and the blade just cl clatters to the ground. Oh, Dope monk shit. Yep. <laughs> I like how she accidentally did that. Like, oh, that's not what I, I that's not what meant, meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, Pog looks just as surprised as the rest of you do. <laughs> like, oh, that worked. Uh, Robin, you are up. All right. So, uh, I, the only one left is the Rooks. So I'm going to attack them. Here we go. All right. Nope. Yeah, that's gonna miss. That's the end of my turn. Uh... All right, Ram. All right. I'm gonna. Wow, there's like so much stuff on your. Shoes. Gonna teleport. Okay. And appear on the other side of him. Okay. Because <laughs> it makes me laugh, and then I'm gonna smack yeah. him in the back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm here. No, I'm not here. <laughs> flash of blue energy and suddenly you're just on the other side. But I don't hit him, so it's fine. Oh, that was that. <laughs> I feel like every that time you teleport, attitude. you miss. I know. Uh... I feel like maybe when you teleport, you like don't orient yourself right. So you're like, hi -ya! You know what it is? Damn. It's because I haven't done it in 1600 years. So it's a little. Oh, know. that's why. I, I forgot I could so do it. Off. I could, yeah, I forgot you, I could. You do haven't it. rebooted your targeting system. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, it, like, he's surprised by this, but not enough to sort of, like, he kind of gets out of the way just as you swing your axe, and he's going to turn around and go at you with his greatsword. No. I deny that. Did you crit me again? What the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you oh, need no. a different tactic. Your nose are not helping. Uh, so you take... Come on, brain. Uh, 16 total, so... 8. Yep. Okay. He was surprised, but not enough. Aster. Oh, man, the sword. You just saw Ram bamp again to the other side. Uh, uh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh. 
Oop. Blank. I'm very frustrated right now. I'm extremely frustrated. You get advantage uh, on whatever it is that you're doing because you're flanking with Ram, so. Great. Um. I'm going to cast. What is this? I guess I don't have to be right up. I want to cast Dissonant Whispers. Uh, so I imagine that the way she does this is she, like, does that, like, kind of, you know, how snakes have, like, their jaws are, practically like, unhinged, so she just opens her mouth mm -hmm. super wide and just, like, starts making these echoey, like, hissing sounds. Like parcel like, tongues? Yeah, yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah. But, like, creepy. Okay. I mean, I'll do make the thing. Go. Oh, do the thing. I gotta actually click on the stuff. Huh. Oh. Okay. Uh. This guy. And then it's gonna be that, maybe. Did I do it? Did that happen? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm just reading something real quick. Oh. Okay, never mind. That doesn't apply here. Never this mind. Kind of failed. Um, okay. So it rolled an 18. Oh, so I'm yeah, assuming it, that it, succeeds. It saves. So you, on a failed save, you take psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction. Blah, blah, blah. On a successful save, okay, it takes half damage. Okay. Yep. It should be coded in already, so you don't have to have it. Oh. Like all the things. Nice. Okay, yep, nice. Good job. One level. <clears throat> Finally did a thing! <laughs> uh, uh, Pog's turn. Yep, Pog's gonna loop around here. is it does the thing for me there we go for staff no oh <gasps> no flurry of blows no uh, no <laughs> <laughs> now i got clocked pretty hard earlier so they're still kind of yeah yeah <clears throat> little startled by Ram Double. just kind of poofing too. Like, it's it's a whole thing. Yeah. It's a lot. Uh, Robin, you are up. Alright. Uh, again, I'm uh, gonna see if I can try and hit the last enemy. Yeah, nope. <laughs> oh my oh, god. god. And that's the end of my turn. Oh, no. Wow. Ram, you're up. But I have advantage. That's yep. two twos in a row. The uh, hey. That's three turns where I haven't been able to. Twenty two. Hit. That hits. For max damage. Yeah, the dice are like all over the place tonight. <laughs> yeah. They seem to like some people and not like other people. <laughs> well, since Ram is still obviously the biggest threat, it's gonna the only one that's been able to hit. Here. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I didn't crit that time. Wow. I got a 13. No. I would have freaked out if I crit three times in a row. Honestly, it would not be the first time uh, the DM crit me three times in a row. Really? Oh, no. Agony. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. Okay, well, that's... Because he hacks. Uh, All right, Aster, uh, you're up. Uh, um... Uh, Gonna poison spray. I don't know how to do any of that fancy shit, so like if it hits you, it hits you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Whatever it is is fantasy grounds being fantasy grounds. <laughs> uh okay. Oh, just a ten. You weren't targeting. He failed. Oh. Oh, I actually R have to He rolled a seven. Oh, well, so cool. You actually Keep that. do stuff. Uh, where is it? This one. Boop. 
Nice. <sighs> yeah, you... What does your, your poison spray look like? Uh... After... Oh, like, opening her mouth for the whispers and everything, and seeing that fail, she's like, Fine! Spits out some poison. Ram, you have to kind of, like, throw your arm up real quick to keep the acid from, like, splashing on you. Is it acid or poison? Oh, poison. poison. So, yeah, the poison from spraying on you. I don't even bother. I'm resistant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then. Uh, and that'll be... That'll be my turn. What color is your poison? Oh! <gasps> Oh man, it's a purple. Okay, I thought you were gonna go like lime green or something. Yeah, <laughs> fuchsia. Cliche. Fuchsia. Yeah, there you go. With like <laughs> iridescent blue polka dots in it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's Pog's turn. Uh, Pog is gonna try and hit. Does that hit? No. Nope. Oh, okay, oh unarmed goodness. strike. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That did hit. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Both of them hit. Uh, they are going to try and make it non-fatal if it comes to that. Okay. Just uh, just in case. Still standing. Oh my goodness. Alright, Robin. Mom, yeah, final I, blow. Have, I have uh, no hope in this. Yes! All right. Yeah. You might have been trying to do non-fatal. However, Robin is out for blood. That's yeah. fine. I spent yeah. the last three turns doing nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. It had, five, it had five hit points left. Robin, oh. how would you like to do this? <laughs> I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like just going to town on him. And all of a sudden, just very quickly, there is an arrow, like, clean through. And, like, you can see there's that moment of recognition in his eye where, like, oh shit, I fucked up. And he just collapses. Taking any chances, I'm not gonna do any, like, last minute words or quips. I'm just shooting. Just angry at the last three turns not being able to hit. I'm just taking it all out on this one. <laughs> Understandable. So you are technically out of combat. Mm. Okay, Reggie. I'll like tap my chest plate uh, so he'll. Yeah, he unplugs and replugs. Well, huh. I'm gonna go look at that sword. Okay, it is very broken. Yeah, I like to loot the bodies. Okay, yeah, you can... So, the armor doesn't have anything on it. Obviously, it's armor. Um, but you can make me an investigation check as you check Rook. Oh, sis. I have, I have nothing to help with my investigation. That's, like, the Ram, one I keep Ram using. Ram is assisting, so you can roll with advantage, so you can roll again. He's rolling again? Yeah, because Ram is assisting, so... Oh. Okay, with 13... He doesn't have much on him. He's got a little pouch that's got um, uh, 30 gold in it and uh, 18 silver. And he also is wearing a pendant very similar to all the other ones that you've found so far. Similar or identical? The same. It's just, it's the same sort of outstretched wing with the, the broken one. Alright. I'm gonna take it. Okay. What about the armor itself? The Shit. armor? Okay. Well. It looks like once upon a time it was a very fancy decorative suit of armor and if you've ever seen decorative suits of armor, they are trash for like anything other than just standing there and looking pretty. Well. Anyways. Uh, shall we continue our investigation of this place? Mm-hmm. All right. 
Well, I found nothing in that room, by the way, except a dumb, smelly bag. Oh, that's gross. It was not pleasant. I'll go look Whoa. over here. Okay. Yeah, you look in the door that Aruk just came out of, and um, it looks to be a storage room. I'll start going through the storage. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of, like... For this being an auction house, there is not nearly as much stuff here as you would expect there to be for an auction house. Not with the information that we have, though. Because they're not selling stuff. Exactly. So, most of the, like, crates are just full of, like, bits of cloth, or just they're purely there for like aesthetic reasons so like it looks very much like if somebody were to come in here and look they'd be like yeah it looks like a storage room you know but there's like nothing really of no yeah. even though like you can see like in the back corner there are like what looks to be casts of, of they should be casts of ale mm -hmm. however you go to like grab one of them and it is empty okay and when I had my arcane awareness up, it was only two pings down here, right? And I'm assuming that was the sword and the armor? Yep, that okay. sensation is gone, so... Okay. Um, well, check yeah. across the hall, then. Okay, yeah, um... You can, I guess, so you can make me an investigation check when you're doing all that. Can I do just kind of sits down like against the wall to kind of rest their very aching head. <laughs> and yeah, I... uh, Robin, you can assist if you would like. 11. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look around the area to see if I spot anything. Okay, roll investigation. Oh man, oh, man, this... we're not finding anything. We suck. Uh... Again, it's a lot of the same. Like this looks very staged. Very, very staged. The so there are a couple of bookshelves in here that have like books on them, but like when you go to grab the books, you open the books up and there's nothing actually in the books. Mm. So no copy of Tusk Love, huh? <gasps> no. No, I'm gonna make you work for that. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I want to start, like, grabbing all the books off the shelf to see if any of them are, like, trick books that open up. Okay, like, yeah, anything. you you spend a couple of minutes with Ram just, like, tearing the place apart, and there, I mean, there is really nothing here. Like, it is, it is very clean here. What about in the last room? Okay, yeah, you open that last room, and this... As, you're, as you walk in here, the first thing you notice is the smell. This room very, very much smells like a prison cell. As you look around, you can see there are cots in here that would have kept people. But all of the cots that are in here have, like, chains on them. Mm. There is no one here. But this looks like this is where they kept the people that they were sending. Uh, don't like this room at all. Until they could uh, send them where they were sending them. Can I look for any, like, maybe messages that they might have tried to, like, scratch into the sure, wall? Sure, make me an investigation and... check while you do that. Oh, boy. Our favorite! Because we're so good at it! Oh, that's not how you do it. There it is. Yay, over time! <laughs> okay. So I'm doing you, something! You don't find any personal belongings of any kind here. But you do find sort of scratched on the bunk in the furthest corner in the upper, like, the upper left of the map. You do find, um... As you kind of are like digging through stuff like these so these are basically just like planks of wood that are suspended by chains 
with like a chain leading off of it that would hook to a person and you as you kind of flip that one up you can see on the underside there are names scratched into it oh any that seem familiar that we know of you see sarabi's name on there for sure the names that um elise look found as well are there um you see uh todd todd's name is there Well, I relay that to everyone else, but it seems like there's not much more here anyway. Is it just one bunk that has the names written on it? Yeah, in the back corner. I'm going to rip that bunk off the wall. Duh. Okay. E easy enough with your strength. It's just, it's just chain, like chain bolted to the wall, so... And I'm going to take the whole plank with me. Okay. Yeah, you're able to grab that. There's really, this place is very clean for it being what it's supposed to be. Kind of an in-between place, maybe. Yes. Well, do we need to do anything to hide or burn the place down? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. I know you don't like fire, but you want to go well, back. I could, I could just leave and you can burn it all you want. Before we burn it down, I'd like to at least go back to the office to see one more time if there's anything else, paperwork or files or accounting books, ledgers, anything that I should take before we burn it down. Help. Sure. I'll okay. start building a pyre. Mm. And I'm going to go into the main floor in the main room and start putting together anything that's made out of wood. It's pretty much everything in there. So. The only thing I'm not going to burn <laughs> is that plank with the names on it. Okay. Okay. Easy enough to do. You're it. You go to town on that. You guys can hear Ram breaking furniture and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you can make a make another investigation check then. Um, ask her if you're gonna help. No, nope. you can do it with the advantage. Oh, dear, yeah, I'm here to help <laughs> as much as I can. I'll allow it. <laughs> so go ahead and roll again, Sam. Hey. Hey. There you go. <laughs> so <clears throat> you are able to find a few like signed uh I I call them affidavits, but they're like invoices that have the name um Reza Banala on them. And the handwriting on those invoices matches the journal that you have. Take him. What was the name, sorry? Riz Reza Banala. R-E-Z-A. And then her last name is B-I-N-A-L-A. -A. You've heard this name once before. I think Elise got the information from somewhere. I'm, I'm trying to remember, like when they were looking for shipping something, shipping confirmations when you were at the library the first time around. Mm -hmm. Maggie actually takes notes. Let's take a look. I think Maggie stopped taking notes. Yeah. Probably. Uh, so short lived. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> I yeah. love I, I love their I notes. I think that she's been taking I think she's been taking them like in person. Maybe. Mm. So, you probably have to ask her if she's got that somewhere, but regardless, you have heard this name before. They're the owner, proprietor, whatever of the auction house. 
Well, they're next on my shit list once I burn yeah. their house down. Once we burn this place, that'll get their attention for sure, so... Do we need to stage a... Uh... Like, watch this place and see if they arrive? While this place is burning? Sure. Or do we want to get away from here? The guards here are garbage. Yeah, I'd still like to be away, though. You to get, like, an alibi. Plausible deniability and all that. You go right ahead. I have no issues with taking responsibility for my actions. So, you guys go right ahead. Maybe I'll just keep an eye out from a distance. I'll go stake out a place that's nearby while you burn the place. Get a good view. Okay. And just take note of anyone who comes near. I want to be up high. Okay. So I'm going to go outside and try to start making my way to do that. Yeah, you you could, in theory, find a place, like, through the back alley somewhere that you could keep an eye out on things. It sort of depends on what it, like, what and where it is that you are trying to keep an eye on things. Um, Ram Pog sort of waits for you to get everything set. Drink. And then... Is that Agni? Yep. Hi, Agni. <laughs> I can't. I can't have chat open and no, all I of get this it. at the same time because it freaks out my computer. So yeah, <laughs> I think Keisha froze. Oh no, Keisha. Burner. It's okay. They're running away to hide in a tree or something. Yep. Uh, Robin, what are you up to? Are you staying with Pog and Ram, or are you... No, I'll stay with them. I'd like to at least, you know, hide or at least take cover somewhere. Yeah, easy enough to... It's dark. It's easy enough for you to find a place to sort of, like, duck into an alley. And, uh... Ram, how are you setting this fire? Mm, one second, please. We lost our Keisha. I know, and now the cameras are fucked up again. I know. Damn cams. Why is it a pain in the butt? How am I setting this fire? Oh, fuck it, I'll just, uh, light a torch. Stick it under the tire I've made in the middle of the auction house room. Okay. Yeah, easy enough to do. Um, you light the torch and it takes a little bit, but eventually it catches with all that, you know, fancy crappy lacquer that's on all of those, like, auction chairs. It, when it starts to go, it starts to go. Yeah. And you and Pog make your way out. I'm assuming out the back door. Oh no, I'm going out the front. Okay, so you kick open the front door and you go out and it, it takes a little bit, but eventually you start to see flame and smoke and the building goes up fairly efficiently and all hell breaks loose in town. I just kind of, like, is there a park bench or something that I could sit in across the way? Uh, there's, like, hold on, I gotta look here. So there is a, there's, like, a, over across the way, kind of, is where Bilfus's shop is. Okay. So you could kind of lean against the wall over there. Keisha, you're live! <laughs> Um, you're able to kind of hang out over there yeah no 
Fuck it. I'm going to stand right in the middle. With... Okay. I'm going to hold the plank like a surfboard. Okay. Just kind of leaning on it. And watch the thing burn. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't take long before there are alarm bells going off. And people running with buckets to try to save the building. And, Don't bother. Um, eventually, uh, a, like, guards start to show up, and... Wow! Um, Look, they're actually doing their job for once! They did it! It's amazing! They, they see you, like, heckling them, and then the building is on fire... And most of them go to help, like, this, the people try to put it out. Um, but one who's got, like, the the chevron of, like, a sergeant stops. And uh, he's like, Did you do this? Yes. Can you explain... Do you see this board that I am holding up for you directly in front of your fucking face? Yes. Do you see the names that are scrawled on it? He kind of leans in and looks at it and inspects it. Yes. These are all the people that are missing from here, yes? He kind of looks at you a little bit like, how do you know that? And leans in and looks at it again, and he goes, Where did you find this? In the basement of the auction house. Was there anybody there? A couple people, but they're dead now. He kind of looks at you, and he, he says, Please explain. We use small words because apparently you're not getting it. The auction house. He like, he's got like a mustache and like you, you can see his mustache twitch a little bit. That's fine. The auction yeah. house <laughs> is responsible for moving the kidnapped people out of the city. Can you prove this? I just point at the board. That could have come from anywhere. Literally, you are the dumbest person I've ever seen. I would like to speak to your manager. <laughs> uh, whoever asked her, she's just watching this, like, a little amused. You can't hear anything of what's going on, but just, like, Ram just gesturing and just like, you're an idiot. And the guy's just sitting there just like, it's great. He says, I, I will take you to see my captain, but they're going to need more to go on than just this. And the fact that you burned down a building. It's just a building, and I intend to burn down the person that owned it, too. Uh, Aster and Robin, make me perception checks. As I'm you're sure watching Ram all of this happening. I will put us into any silly situation i trust her entirely <laughs> what could go wrong what could possibly go wrong from this so aster you can't hear what's going on however you do see ram motioning rather animatedly at a at at the board that they had. And just out of the corner of your, like, periphery, sort of at the crowd that has now gathered, you see someone, you don't get a very good look, pull up a hood and turn around and start leaving the area. Rather efficiently. Where, where, is, it, where is Robin during all of this? Where'd they go? Did you well, like duck into an alley or something, Robin? Yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to like when the police showed up. I didn't want to be stuck in that. So I picture okay. like Aster was looking for like a higher up place to look. From. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, before my computer okay, decided so to like shut a down. So, like, a building or two, like, a, a building sort of adjacent, you're, you were able to find, like, a roof access, and you are, I'm guessing you're just sort of keeping watch from up there, and, like, you can see sort of hiding behind, like, a barrel in, in the alleyway that's, like, adjacent to you. You can just barely make out the form of Robin. Robin, you don't see Aster, though. How far away is that figure that I kind of noticed? 30 feet and hoofing it. Hoofing did it? I notice them? Um, you did not. I want to attempt to jump, jump down and chase after this individual. Okay, roll me a, a acrobatics. I don't care. Here we go. Am I acrobatic? Yep. Pog didn't see shit. No. Pog forgot where they were. <laughs> Pog was Boy. busy dealing with the, like, giant gash across their chest right now oh yeah Ooh. okay so yeah aster you like as you you see this like just kind of still filled with that sort of like sense of battle and everything that's going on you like take a page from ram's book and like mm -hmm. you you see this person and you just take off after him um and I'm going, going as fast as my legs can allow me through this crowd okay uh, purpose. make me a perception check. Okay. Oh, man. Because you are oh, quite short. Man. I wish I had, I don't know, like, message or something. That'd be so great right now. Alright, perception? Mm-hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> the you shitty rolls are bad. The crowd. <laughs> you, you get into the crowd and, like, just height-wise, you are short. No. So, like, you start to, like, you you kind of are, like, going in the right direction, but by the time you get through the crowd, they're gone. Uh... And, Robin, you see, like, out of, like, nowhere, Aster comes, like, just three-point superhero landing in the, like, dirt sort of ten feet from you and takes off running through the crowd. You can't see what they're chasing, but they're definitely running. Of course, the two shorties are the ones that see it. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this will work, but could I cast Zone of Truth, grab someone in it, and say and ask them, like, which way did that figure go? Is that a doable thing? I don't know if it's worth it, if that person might be too far away, but... Okay. Mm. Roll me an Arcana check at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, Arcana. Oh. I need disadvantage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the so, ones. Ugh. I know. As you... Okay, side note. I love to fail, like, because it forces you to, like, really think about what you're doing, but that's besides the point. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, as you come down and, like, you land and, like, you... Do you say anything to Robin as you take off running? That's why... Okay, so yeah, you surprise. as you take off running and like you're you're trying to like cast and run at the same time and it just it just is not working. Like your magic is just not with you right now. Ugh. There's just too much going on and the fact that like this building is burning down, Ram is yelling at some poor guard and there like there's just a lot going on right now. A guard that deserves it. And Robin, you you hear Aster yell this way, and then start booking it. I'm not following. Okay. I'm just gonna stay here and keep an eye on everything that's going on. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Um. So Aster, you get you know through the crowd, and they're just they're gone. Well, I try. 
have a feeling Ram is getting into trouble. I'm gonna go over to see that situation. Oh, I guess. Well, no. I'm gonna try to climb up a building or get up high somewhere again and just attempt to see if I can see anything else. I'll do that instead. Ram's got it, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so you, as you sort of come back through the crowd, um, come on, brain, do the thing. As you come back through the crowd, you, like, you can see that Ram is having this very heated discussion with, um, a guard, and you can see where Pog is sort of, like, leaning against a wall, trying to, like, patch themselves up as best as they can. Um... And, yeah, so, I don't have anything more for tonight, so if you guys want to kind of have a shorter one tonight. Yeah, sounds good. So. It's a good kind of cliffhanger part mm -hmm. anyway. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, we'll no. Pick up with the, uh, we all pick up with the fallout from that. <laughs> yep. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Always a good, good time here with our Ladies and Envies game. Mm. Yeah. So hopefully next week everybody will be here. If not, I will start going to people's houses and beating the door down. Because do it. Pull a ram. I'm a barbarian, and that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to do a raid. Stick around for that. It is our friend over the Mind's Eye, who is one of our co-streamers. And they are also playing some D&D &D tonight. So thanks very much, and uh, we will see.